What is up YouTube, this is Jared Spalding here and today I'm going to be presenting you guys with a video that is for those of you who have not yet started investing in copper pennies but would like to and that is going to be the differences between a zinc and copper penny. I will upload more vi videos about copper penny investing and wheat penny investing and all that good stuff but this is just the differences to start out with. So first of all let's start off with similarities I guess uh, first you know any no matter what you're talking about whether it be anywhere from 1909 to 2015 you're gonna have the same obverse design of Lincoln looking towards the right except for with the 1909 Indian head penny but in 09 they switched over to this so this is going to be the design you're gonna see on any coinage that we're talking about in this video now the obverse has been changed twice so it's had to all three different designs. Uh, this obverse is going to be the shield back. Just grab this penny, flip that over. Uh, this, this was designed started in 2010 because in 09 the centennial for the Lincoln design was done so those are kind of collectible I guess you could say. Same material but every everything but it was just a one year thing. And before 09, they had a memorial on the back, which you probably see in some more coinage, or one more pennies than you'll see, you know, than anything else here. But we also have a wheat back, which are fairly common to find. That's where most of my copper pennies come in at, is wheat pennies. They hold a little bit more value than just the melt value, but we're going to be going over strictly melt today, and let's get rolling with these differences here so first of all any penny from 1909 to 1982 that it has the Lincoln design on it is going to weigh 3.11 grams anything from 82 to present when they switched over to zinc core is going to be weigh just 2.5 grams so if you have any pennies from 1982 you can weigh them and see if it's 2.5 grams or 3.11 chances are they'll be 3.11 because more than 82 were made from copper, almost all of them were actually. So chances are that's what you're going to be seeing, but you always got to weigh them to make sure. Now, secondly, let's get to the metals themselves. So the uh, copper pennies were made of 95% copper, and that had a 5% zinc slash tin coating on them, but the present pennies are just the opposite with only 5% copper as a coating and 95% zinc slash tin making up almost the entirety of the coin. They both, here's another similarity for you, they both have a face value of 1 cent although in 1909 1 cent was worth a lot more than it is today so but either way whether it's no matter what it is the face value is always going to be the same no matter what the age now let's get into melt values here. So one copper penny is going to have a melt value of 1.1, 1 1.15830 cents. So about one and a half cents if you're rolling around that. While a zinc penny is going to be worth under melt that under face value with its melt value at just 0.43 cents. So still almost half a penny in melt, which makes them still very expensive to produce in terms compared to what they're actually worth however they are still worth under their face value in terms of melt so melting them down is not only legal but also pointless we hear whereas the copper penny is worth over its face value making it a worthwhile investment and the great thing about copper pennies unlike silver is that you're going to be successful in finding them every time in coin row hunting in fact about 30 percent to maybe even 40% of your box if you're really lucky it could be copper so you know that's definitely something to put into consideration it makes it very cheap to stack because you can get them for one cent a piece and they're automatically worth over their uh, face value so definitely a very good uh, investment I think if you're paying less than if you're paying under spot you're only paying would it be about I guess about 66 percent of its spot price really more closer like 62 or 63 percent of the spot price of copper so it's a very way, a cheap way to invest 
in copper because bullion of course has giant premiums on it so you know it's definitely a very good way to invest and I'm rambling on here so I hope you guys enjoyed the video it was a little bit longer but I wanted to give you guys the differences between a zinc and copper penny and go into their values and everything like that and I hope you enjoyed and if you did tell me what videos you'd like to see in the future and if you didn't also tell me what videos you'd like to see and why you didn't enjoy it and that is it for now peace love and much respect